Okay, so we're ready to get everything set up. And the great part about using this bootstrap project that we're gonna be pulling down is that you don't actually need a web server to run this. So if you don't have any kind of web server installed, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is all gonna go ahead and open for you. And we're gonna serve this uh, within Webpack. Okay, so just to kind of give you an idea of what you're gonna need, you'll need Node.js because we need to pull down uh, all of the dependencies that we require using NPM. If you're not sure that you have this installed, just head over to a terminal and run NPMV and you should see the version that you're running. So as long as you've got that installed, then we're ready to move on. So like I said, we're gonna be using Phaser, which is a desktop and mobile HTML5 game framework, but we're not gonna be directly using any guides inside of this to get this working. Like I said, we're gonna be using this bootstrap project. So I'd recommend going over to Phaser. They have a lot of examples, a lot of tutorials uh, if you wanted to carry on after this course. So go ahead and check this out anyway, and I'll leave, of course, a link to this in the course link section. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and pull down this uh, template just here. So let's come down to how we do this. We need to go ahead and clone this down. So you will need Git installed to go ahead and pull this in. Uh, I'm currently just within a www directory here, and I'm going to go ahead and grab this link, paste it in, and we're going to call this breakout because of course we're building a breakout game. So once this is all downloaded, we want to go ahead and CD into that breakout directory. And like I said, using NPM, we want to install all of the assets. This will pull down Phaser, it will pull down Webpack, which will bundle everything together for us. And a couple of other things as well that are gonna help us out along the way. Uh, we're gonna have browser sync set up. So as we make changes in our text editor, uh, this is gonna go ahead and update what we see on the screen. So pretty useful. So we've gone ahead and done this step just here. You can, of course, use Yarn if you prefer that. And the next thing we want to do is run the development server. And this is going to go ahead and open localhost on port 3000. So now that this is all finished, let's go ahead and run npm run dev. And that should go ahead and open up for us and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so this is now opened up and it's watching for changes. You can see that this is now a game and it's uh, of course working. Uh, you can see here that you don't wanna come out of this because browser sync is going ahead and uh, pushing to your browser and Webpack is just going ahead and waiting for changes. So you can just pretty much leave that in the background now unless you have any issues and you need to go ahead and restart it. Okay, so now that we've got this installed, of course, what we wanna do is open up our text editor and start customizing this. As lovely as that spinning mushroom is, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. So opening up my text editor, let's go ahead and bring the breakout game into here. Like I said, because this uses Webpack, we have some Webpack configuration in here as well. Unless you really know about Webpack, it's not really worth diving into these. You can always go ahead and explore uh, what's going on a little bit later. What we're mainly interested in is this source directory here, which has the state of each of our game states. We also have sprites in here, which we're not going to be using. We're going to be using prefabs instead. And also we have our assets directory here with any of the images in here that we have. Now we can go ahead and get rid of the mushroom. So the first thing that we're going to do is come into the game section just here. Uh, you can see what this is doing is just adding some text to this world. Uh, and I'm going to refer to the game as a world just because that's how Phaser refers to it. Uh, and of course, don't worry if you don't understand any of this yet. We're going to be uh, of course, looking at each of these. So we're gonna get rid of all of this because we don't want that mushroom in there. We're gonna get rid of the import for the mushroom at the top just here. And we're also gonna get rid of the render uh, condition in or the condition inside of this render method. So let's go ahead and delete the sprites just here because we're not gonna need that mushroom. So let's delete this and let's go ahead and delete this mushroom image as well, just so we don't have uh, too much floating around in our code. So at the moment then, if we head over to the browser, you can see that we just end up with the following. It's just a, obviously a square with the background color just in here. Now what we can do is we can head over to boot, which is the boot state of the game that loads in fonts. It goes ahead and shows the loader bar, which we can't quite see at the moment because we don't have too many assets being loaded in. But if you are building a much larger game, uh, this would show a progress bar. Now we can leave this all in because it's worth keeping in, but we want to go ahead and change the background color. Now, one of the things I do want to do, first of all, is over in config.js, uh, you'll notice that we have a predefined game width and game height. And this is going ahead and pulling in and going ahead and setting uh, the config that we need. But if we just go ahead and get rid of this, notice that we just end up with a full screen game. And that's what we're going to be doing in here. Uh, but you can, uh, of course, change the width and height of your game if you need to. So now that we've done that, all I want to do is come over to boot and change the background color over to FFF or FFFF 
and we now have an empty slate ready to start placing all of our things on uh, that we need to get this breakout game working. So that's pretty much it for the setup. That's what you do uh, if you were using this kind of boilerplate and you wanted to just have a completely fresh slate to start with. We're going to be adding more states to the game, but feel free to have a little look around here. We can also get rid of this uh, reference to loading in that mushroom because we don't need that. Uh, all this is doing is going ahead and uh, loading in the uh, loader background and the loader bar, and it's going ahead and setting that loader. Either way, that's pretty much it, but we'll learn more about this along the way. We now have a nice fresh slate to start working with, and the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and add the score text, uh, the level text, and the lives text at the top of the page.